All right. So what do we need to do first? We have an alkyl halide, right? We have an alkyl halide here. Um, we should probably number the carbons. Maybe I didn't say that enough. We should number these carbons. One, two, three, four. Make sure we don't lose any. It's going to react with magnesium. So it's going to turn into a granier. We talked about that mechanism. Starting to use our fish hook arrows. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but just showing that it happens. So that's step one. We're going to make our granyard. So now the magnesium is between, right, bromine and this carbon, one. So which carbon is now my nucleophile? It's carbon one is electron rich, right? Carbon one is electron rich. So what's it going to react with? Maybe one of the things people had a hiccup on was seeing this and drawing this, right? This formaldehyde, H2CO, right? Taking this kind of thing and making it into that, that could be difficult. Let's number that one we have left. That can be number five and oxygen can be six. So what's gonna happen? Our nucleophile is gonna react with the electrophilic carbon of the carbonyl group, carbon five. The electrons in that carbon Magnesium bond, which is really like an ionic bond, right? That's a carbon ion. These two electrons are going to do what? React with a carbon five. As they do that, that breaks the pi bond. Those electrons go to oxygen six. So which new bond did we make? We made a bond between carbon one and carbon five. So if we draw this. There's oxygen, has a negative charge now, drawing some lone pairs. See, oxygen was bonded to five. There's four, nope, that's not four, right? That's carbon one. One was bonded, bonded to two, three, four. What you're gonna start to notice with these, you really need to number your carbons, right? Number those carbons. That'd be really helpful. Am I okay so far? Five also had two hydrogens. Those two hydrogens are still there. I just didn't draw them in. So what have I done? I formed a tetrahedral intermediate. What do we do when we form a tetra tetrahedral intermediate? We ask, did we, did, we form, did we have any leaving groups? Are there any leaving groups on carbon five? No? So then what we're going to do, we're going to do protonation. So now we react this with H3O+, plus, which is the third step. Max there. What does that finally get us? Gets us a alcohol. And what kind of alcohol? It's a primary alcohol. What are the steps? Well, we made the Grignard. That's kind of a radical process. We do the addition, right? We add in, right? We do the addition when we add the Grignard to the carbon of the carbonyl group. Do we have any good leaving groups? No. Then the net last step then would be protonation. Protonation. 